Okay, joined here by SVSU women's soccer head coach Michael O'Neill here to give us a little recap of the 2015 fall. And coaches, first off, give me your overall assessment of the season for you. Well, obviously it was a tough season um, overall. Uh, seven and ten record isn't something we set out to achieve. Um, in that regard, I think we actually underachieved, and we were hoping to have postseason aspirations. Um, but uh, obviously, some some things happened along the way. Some injuries didn't help us along. Um, but we got to take some lessons from this and move forward. Um, we can almost use it as a blessing in disguise. Not that anyone wants to go through a, a rough season, but I think there's a lot of things that we can take from this moving forward and, and help us be in the postseason this time next year. Okay, and the uh, team was fairly young this year. You'd be graduating just three seniors, returning a really good wealth of young talent for you. I'll uh, just talk about the seniors that are departing from this year's team and then about the returners you have coming back for 2016. Yes, uh, obviously we do return a lot of a lot of players. However, the, the senior class that we are graduating, uh, Kaylee, Maddie, and Presley, they were three starters throughout the year um, and were big contributors to the program. Um, so we're going to lose um, some minutes there. But again, now opportunities for uh, underclassmen, incoming freshmen to step up and, and fill those spots. Um, so. Uh, the girls that we have on board currently, I think they have more than what, what it takes to, to be starters. Um, and, and now it's up to them to take matters into their own hands this off-season and prove that they can fill those spots left by the seniors. Ken, okay, what kind of, what specific things are you looking for out of your team to improve? Obviously, young players you know, need to get bigger, faster, stronger. Um, they've already endured the, the season, you know, their freshman season, and kind of have an idea of what it's all about. So what are the things you're really looking on improving? And then how does the kind of off-season training go for those of us who aren't very familiar with the soccer? Right. Um, well, uh, we lost 10 games this year. Well, eight of those games um, were by one goal. So we know we're competing with with most teams um, within the com within the conference, the region. Um, so we, we really need to f to figure out, um, and it's kind of working on on some toughness things, but closing out games uh, and stepping up uh, in those last 15, 20 minutes, so that we can we can keep shutouts and we can give, win games one zero here and there. Um, obviously, we're always going to be working on getting better as soccer players, tactically, technically. Uh, we could have finished a ton of more chances this year. We could have uh, kept a, a ton of more shutouts um, as well. But ultimately, can we become more of a team? Uh, and in those in those tough moments, uh, can we learn to close out games with, with some mental toughness? Um, the off-season itself is a strange one. We actually don't work with the soccer ball as much as people would expect. Uh, the NCAA take that away, unfortunately, and we have to work on some other things outside of soccer. Uh, but they're very relative to our situation right now. And, and if I'm being honest, they could be hugely beneficial for our, our progress as a program. Um, so we'll be working on on some, some conditioning stuff, obviously in the weight room, working out on, on, on being bigger, stronger, faster. Um, and then obviously the, the conditioning side also helps with, with the togetherness and, and the mental toughness. So uh, big off season for us right now um, and a lot of young players and a, a, lot, of, a lot of returners um, essentially that have got points to prove and, and, and to improve as players, but to also improve this program and make sure we're contending with the very best next year. All right. Thanks for stopping by, Coach, and look forward to see what the offseason brings.